Okay, so uh, now I'm going to uh, do a bouncing ball with the vectors um, in its example 1.2 in Nature of Code, uh, translated to Python. It, I'm not going to talk, go into vectors in a lot of detail. Um, look at look for other uh, places. I mean, there's plenty of places that describe vectors in really good detail. So I figured, why why should I go into all that? Um, read Daniel Shipman's uh, uh, site about vectors um, if you need help. Um, I'm going to show you how to uh, look at all the code uh, related to Rhino, uh, how to use vectors in Rhino though. Uh, we're going to go edit Python script up here and then um, uh, we're going to go Python help. And so what you want to do is click on index and this is true for anything that you want to do with Rhino. This is a really good resource. Um, and so we want to go vectors. Uh, let's do vector methods. You can see that we have all, a lot of methods right here, but uh, point and vector methods. And uh, so this uh, this uh, covers uh, the vector methods. We can reverse a method or a vector, r rotate a vector, scale a vector, and do you know just do all this stuff. So that's uh, that's where you can you can find uh, the information about that. Oops. Okay, so um, this is just uh, the the setup that we had from the last one, the bouncing bouncing ball with uh, without vectors, and so we're going to go in and. Uh, change this. Uh, I'm going to leave uh, this basic framework because we'll, we'll be uh, using that framework. We're going to change the syntax of it. But, and uh, let's, uh, let's add a point instead of a sphere. And uh, I'll put something in there later. Um, so to start off, we're going to make a vector at uh, position uh, 50, 50, oh, 0. So you can, it's the same thing that we had before. A vector basically is. Uh, uh, three values for the x, the y, and the z. Upper bounds, we're going to leave that. Um, for our speed, instead of uh, uh, doing... Okay, so for our speed we're going to use a, a, another vector. And so uh, let's do speed well, let's do velocity equals val equals velocity. And so velocity is going to be the, the value that we pass in. And so we're going to pass in a vector. Um, we can put a point out here and then pass it into a vector and then pass it into velocity or we can uh, we can set set one vector and have it be like right there so now that we have a, a vector here we're calling it bell for velocity uh, we can update our position. So our position is this right here. And so what we're going to do is go rs dot add vector. Oops, no, it's uh, rs dot vector add. 
and uh, we can see the, the help function here. We can see that vector 1 and vector 2, so you pass in two vectors and it adds them and uh, it returns a 3D vector if successful. So we're going to add our velocity to our position. And I guess there's really no reason why I needed to have this be different variables. We're just going to leave it. So to get our x position, uh, or to get the x uh, value out of our position, the way we do that is we do position dot zero because this is a list, and to get the first item of a list, you do the list and then zero. So here, let me show you real quick. We'll do print. Uh, let's do it up here. Oops. We'll do print position zero. So here it prints uh, whatever's at position 0 here. It's printing whatever's at position 1 here and whatever's at position uh, 2 uh, here. Oops. So what we want is the x value. So if the x value is less than zero, change uh, the velocity uh, of the x. Let's print velocity so we can look at it. Uh, oh, line 22. Uh, Okay, so here we have our velocity. Um, when I uh, click, when I set the velocity, or yeah, set the vector for the velocity, I set it right here at uh, you know one two zero. So one two zero, and what we want to change is the x uh, value. So it's the same as getting the x value for position. Uh, you just go velocity 0, and that will give us the 1. And so we want to multiply that by negative 1 and change. So we change the direction of it. And here I'm going to put in position 0 for upper bounds. Uh, here I'm going to do position 1 for the y value. I'm going to do position 1 for the y value, and I'm going to change the velocity for the y value, the y value velocity. Okay, so let's test this and see where I need to. Um, At point, Uh, add point takes at least one argument, zero is given. Line 27. Okay, so we need to put in our point right here. And for our point, let's try position. Because position is three variables, and what we need is three variables. OK, 
Okay, so we have the point flying around and bouncing, which is exactly what we want. Put a sphere around it. So, yeah, so this is, uh, uh, you can see that I've overrun my limit. I'm at over a thousand and I've only set up my time for that, so that's why it bugged out. So let's, uh, well, I'll stop right there and then I'll make this uh, three dimensional in the next uh, in the next video. It won't take take very long.